How excited are you to be a part of this series? I mean, I still can't <laughs> believe it. I'm serious. I'm, and I know this year was crazy and weird anyway. And everybody was like, is this my life? Where, you know, what, what is this like? But I have felt like that now since the beginning of the show, because I mean, just looking around at the people I get to work with and watching these kids do, I mean, more and more than I ever could imagine. And, um, and also, I feel like Tim Fetterly and the, and the writers keep giving me stuff and nudging me to do more than I knew I could do. And, you know, TV's totally different. So I was figuring that out. And and we were all figuring out the tone of the show together. I and mean, it's just been a dream job in all ways. Well, we have to give a big shout out to Tim because we all fell in love with Tim okay. on Broadway and his Tim books. Tim Fetterly is a genius yeah. and also the nicest boss see isn't that great he doesn't have to be you know that's yeah. the thing he is such a genius that he really doesn't have to be the nicest yeah. but he is still but see that's that's why this show runs the way it runs and millions of people around the world have fallen in love with it because he I sets think, the tone from the top he does and you can tell that everyone supports each other and loves each other and that is also that's the whole like point of the show is to let kids know that theater is your safe space and theater is where you can be loved for exactly who you are. I love it. Now you play Miss Jen, you play the, the drama teacher. Tell me what you love about her. <laughs> well, I just love that she is unapologetic of feeling strongly about things. And, um, and I love how it's sort of similar to what we were talking about, about my journey, I guess, in terms of being a mother, becoming a mother, that when she became sort of the mother of all her drama, her kids, her drama kids, it cracked her open too. And, um, and I think it's exciting to, to feel her stuff because it's so close to mine and that, you know, maybe our paths went some way we never imagined, but it's better than we ever could have imagined. Um, but more is in store for Miss Jen. And this season, she is struggling a little bit with, um, with her past, okay. with someone from her past. And, um, and then also, I think, with that, it comes like the expectations of who you thought you were supposed to be for everybody. And so then when you come back and you're not exactly who you said you were going to end anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? But um, no, she's she's hilarious. I think she's hilarious. Miss Jen. Has, she has to be one of the dream roles of everything you've ever played. I mean, oh. It, I mean, I don't actually. The kids are so so sweet because they keep talking about what they're doing and what they're going to do next, what they're going to do on the hiatus, and I just sit there, like actually probably like trying to remember my lines. So because I have like the big thing, and um, and uh, I think it was Olivia who said to me, right, Olivia, just the sweetest, and she's like, "What do you want to do next, Kate?" And I remember it almost made me cry because I, I thought, I have not even thought about it because this is the absolute like peak of what I could imagine for myself. Like this is the best swan song. If I never work again, I am happy. I am ecstatic. And, but it was so sweet that they're like, no, no, you're not. And I'm like, you're so sweet. But, um, and I could play this part forever for sure. I'm hoping it can oh, be we Miss Jen, then it can be Ms. Jen, then it could be Grandma Jen. <laughs> Grandma Jen. 